All right, today I'm going to show you how to read a pattern. So the first thing you want to do is with a pattern, so I'm just going to show you this simple pattern that is on the Red Heart Super Saver label. It's a scarf pattern and it will tell you what you need to know and what you need to get to make this. So if you're reading the pattern like this, or even if it's a pattern that you've bought online and printed out, this tells me that with this pattern I need a, with this type of yarn, that I need a five millimeter or an H crochet hook. And then to make this scarf, it tells me I need two skins of this type of yarn. And then if you turn it around, now this is particularly fun. So this tells me that on this side, which is not quite right because it's sticking out of this side, but on this side I should find the, the end that does not pull from the middle. And on this side I should find the end that pulls from the middle. So here we have right there the end that pulls from the middle there. It tells me this is a medium weight right here. And then again, it tells me that I need a five. So right here, it tells me that I need a hook size if I want to make a gauge. So a four inch by four inch square. If I'm using a 5.5 millimeter or an eye hook, should be 12 single crochets here and 15 rounds. So to make a four inch by four inch, so four inch here by four inch square, 12 half double crochets and 15 rows there. So if I make that, that should come out to four inches by four inches and then I'll have the right gauge. And if the gauge is off, so for instance, if you, it's too big when you do it, then you just wanna go down a crochet hook size. And if it's too small, then you want to go up a crochet hook size. That's how you know. And then here it says it's acrylic yarn. And that's how you read the label right here. And then, of course, it does have the 364 yards there. Now, this is the inside. So this is how you would read the actual pattern here. So... This is a beginner pattern. It's for the Cosmos scarf. So the scarf, when you're done, should measure 7 inches wide by 100 inches long, and that's excluding the fringe. Now, the materials you would need to make this is the Red Heart Super Saver 7 ounce or the 364 yards. You need two balls of that, and to make this pattern you will need a US size H hook or 5 millimeter crochet hook or if you tried the gauge which was right here so if you tried the gauge then you will need to adjust according to the gauge so if you the gauge if you make your gauge swatch and it is too big then you will need to go down a crochet hook size if you made it and it's too small then you'll need to go up a crochet hook size that's how you know and it's always good to make a gauge swatch. Even if you're seasoned and you've been doing this for a long time, it's still great to make a gauge swatch. Now, how to make the scarf. So it says chain 30, and if you don't know how to do a chain stitch, I'll put that in the description below. So you just make a chain of 30. And then the first row, you want to do a double crochet in the fourth hook from fourth chain from the hook. So you just make your row of 30 and then you do your double crochet and you would count it. So I can show you what that looks like actually. So let me pull some yarn out here. I kind of got it a big huge mess right now. So let's pull some yarn out here. So if I was going to make a chain of 30 right here, I would do my slip knot. So slip knot first, and then you're just going to chain the 30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I've made my chain of 30 right there. And so the next thing it tells me for this row I want to do is I want to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And if you don't know how to double crochet, I'll link that video in my description below. So I'm going to go number four. So this is chain one, two, three, four. So basically I'm skipping one, two, three chains right there. So I make my double crochet, one, two, three, four chain from the hook. And then next, then double crochet in the next two chains. So I'm going to double crochet and this is the next two, so this is the next one chain and the next two, that's number two chain. And then the next thing that I read, it's going to skate, say, skip two chains, double crochet in the next chain, then chain three. So right here I'm going to skip two of the chains, so I'm going to skip one, two right there, and then I'm going to double crochet in the next one. So let's do this and I do one, two, skip that, then just double crochet right here in that next one. And then the next thing it says I need to do is chain three. So I'm going to chain one, two, three. Now this is a little bit harder of a stitch here. So now the next stitch it says chain three, work three double crochets around the post of the double crochet just worked. Okay, so the crochet, double crochet I just worked is this one right here. So I'm going to make three double crochets around this post. So this is the post, so there's one, two, and then three. Right there. There's three right there. Okay. And then after that, then I'm going to skip two on the chain. So I'm going to skip two on the chain, and then I'm going to double crochet around the next three. So I'm going to work through skip two chains and double crochet in the next chain. So now I'm going to skip two. So there is one, two, right there. I'm going to crochet. So skip one, two, and I'm going to crochet in this third one right here. So you see that? And now after I double crochet in that third one right there, So I'm going to do crochet in one, two, three. So I'm going to do three of these. So one, two, three. So there's the three right there. So one, two, three. And then you repeat that three times. So you go back up here and you go to this. So you repeat what's in the brackets. So this has in brackets this to this. So then you repeat the skip two, double crochet in the next, the chain three. Then you work around your, we work three double crochets around the post that you just worked. So then you just repeat that three times and you will have at the end 24 double crochets. 
And after you do that, you're going to turn your work, and then you're just going to follow the instructions from here. Now, when you get to the end, you want your yarn needle to weave in all the ends. And if you don't know how to weave in ends, I'll link the video down below of how to do that. And then this has a great illustration on how you do your fringe. And all patterns will have this also, their abbreviation. So CH equals chain on this pattern. DC is double crochet. MM is millimeters. SC is single crochet. ST is stitches. And then repeat what follows as indicated in the brackets. And then you work the directions for the number of times that's after the brackets. So this says in this first one you work three times. So you go back up to this bracket three times. Now it's pretty easy to read some of these patterns but some of them can be confusing like this one with this scarf you get to row four and then you just repeat row three until you're done. So row four through 160 you repeat row two and then row three and row two and then row three and you just go back and forth until you've reached your 160 rows and then you fasten it off. Now what I think is the best way to do is really you need to read your whole pattern before you start crocheting. This will let you know what you need in your crocheting and it'll also um, let you know if there's any kind of special stitches that you don't know or something that you don't know how to work and then you can always look up how to work that. I hope you found this helpful and um, now you've learned how to read a pattern. If there's anything else that you would like just let me know in the comments below and I can help you out. Thanks! Bye! Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel, push the like button, ring the bell. Um, if you want to know what kind of hooks I use, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. And I'll also leave the links to my social media and my Etsy if you want to check out some of the other stuff that I make. Um, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.